Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a good week so far. Right, before we go any further, I need to say my thank yous, first of all, to Ellen from Silhouette UK that for last week's show. Ellen, considering it was your first time and we did it online, I think you did a great job. So thank you so much for doing that. Hopefully we'll see more from Ellen over the coming weeks and months. And also, of course, the week before that, we had the wonderful Sue Bowler. Um, not in, I was going to say in once again, but at the end of the telephone line. And she told us all about her, um, her blog, the, the Qualitex blog, the very best balloon blog. Um, and Sue is the owner of that, if you like. She's the one that does all the content and, and everything else there. So the purpose of that show was really to talk about resources. We'd already talked about the resources on our own website, on the resources section, and BMTV, etc. And it's really for people out there that are new to the industry. There's been a lot of new people come to the industry over the, the past few months. Welcome to all of you. Um, but also for people that have been in the industry for ages. Sue has been doing that blog for 10 years. In June, it will be 10 years. I think she said 400 and something articles that she's written on there. So uh, if you want to know anything at all, about the balloon industry or the balloon business, I'm sure there'll be something on there. Just use the search facility, type that in. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a great, really is a great resource. And I think Sue takes great pride in it. But anyway, we ended up talking about glue, which happens to be, um, the, I think that was the most viewed blog post on, on her blog was all about adhesives and glue. So it was very, I didn't realize glue could be so interesting. There's so many different types. So anyway, Sue, thank you so much for that. Right, how was Valentine's Day, everybody? Let me know in the comments down below. I, I was in yesterday, we're filming on, on Monday, the day after Valentine's Day, and I was in yesterday and work. And I saw on Facebook some of the comments and there was one that tickled me. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember who you are. I didn't m make note of the, the name, but somebody on one of the groups somewhere on Facebook says, um, um, is anybody else sick of the color red asking for a friend? It, it, it made me giggle. And there's people that had been working 23 hours. Some people, their fingers were bleeding. It's all really, it, it's tough that day. I, I know because when we started the business 16, nearly 17 years ago, actually, um, we, we did balloon in a box from home, from our old house that we used to live in. And it was a small house and we had to have a, a marquee in the back garden. We had to use the garage for uh, all the boxes, our neighbor's garage. We had to put furniture upstairs. Absolutely crazy. I think we worked from seven o'clock in the morning straight through till six o'clock the following morning. It was myself and my wife and we had a little... I don't know how old Lulu was, but she was she was very young, um, a year I think she was, and it was yeah just just crazy. Uh, and then we had now sleep, and then we got up and carried on. Totally feel your pain, but you've got to ask yourself: Is it worth it? And it's a really important question to ask because some of you might have found it quite easy. Um, some of you might have found it very very difficult. And has the bank balance changed? Has it has it been from a business point of view? Has it actually been worth it? And the one question I would ask you is, from a financial point of view, has it? I mean, you might be prepared to work the 23 hours or whatever, but has it made a difference in your bank account? And that's only one measure, obviously, of business. It might lead to ongoing business throughout the year, etc. But if it hasn't, some of you will be thinking, I'm never doing that again. And I would argue to look at your pricing. If you worked all the hours under the sun and you really struggled and you don't think it was financially worth it, have a look at your pricing because um, a wise man once told me that it's better to have fewer orders at a higher price than lots of orders at a cheaper price. And it absolutely makes sense. Imagine if you were selling something at 10 pounds and you had 100 orders, but then you sold something at 20 pounds and you only had 30 orders, um, you would still be making, I, I don't know about the maths, don't, don't quote me on that, but it'd probably be uh, the same, if not more money for fewer orders. And isn't that the position you want to be in? You want to be able to um, sell something that allows you to do it really well, but still make a decent, a decent profit. So I know I bang on about pricing all the time, but please have a look at pricing, have a look at our blog. Um, that we did, the show that we did, 
uh, a few years ago with Mark Drury and download the, the tool, the, the pricing tool, and that can be really, really useful to you. But I hope it was a successful one. I hope it's not put off too many people for doing it next year. Uh, I think I said this at Halloween as well. Oh, was it the elves? It was after the elves and the, and the 31st of November and um, everybody's saying they're not going to do it. I think it's like childbirth. I think you forget and then you end up doing it again next year. So anyway, I'm glad everybody survived. Now, I have to tell you something um, about... Well, basically, we've, we've been very, very busy today. It's been the busiest day we've ever had. And the reason for it is we had some stock come in that's been out of stock for, for ages. So 24-inch bubbles, 20-inch bubbles, and super stuffers, and other things as well. And as you know, we have our notifications on our website. If you email me when available, it sends it out anyway. These bubbles have been out of stock for a long time, and it just means that a lot of notifications went out. The website didn't slow down like it did earlier last year uh, because we're managing those notifications a little bit. But we still have far, far more orders than we had at the beginning of the day. So it does mean, unfortunately, that there is uh, an even longer wait to get those orders dispatched. <laughs> Honestly, we, we've had about three days worth of orders. Um, I mean, it's only 4.30 now, and we've had about three days worth of orders already today. So I have no idea what it's going to be like midnight. So please, please bear with us. Um, and I must apologize to those of you that didn't get there in time. Um, we did have a few thousand of the 24-inch, but unfortunately, they all went within half an hour, uh, even though we were limiting them. Um, we had a few more of the 20-inch bubbles. Um, at the time of filming, I think we still had a few left, but by the time you watch this, I expect they will, they will all have gone. And the super stuffers, they all went in three hours. So um, I, I, I apologize if you were one of those people that, that went, when you got the notification, went straight to the website, and they were already gone. It's just people have been waiting for them so long. Demand, and it's not just us. I know the other wholesalers, the other distributors are are really struggling as well, and they get them in and they go out just as as quickly as they come in. So, it is a really tough situation, all to do with COVID, as I've explained before, because from you know back last March and the manufacturers closing down wherever they are in in the world, and now there's still a backlog. Not as many people allowed into the factories because of distancing, etc. And it's just been a knock-on effect. So uh, hopefully the manufacturers will be getting there this year, uh, and we will manage to get back to a more normal level of stock. But at the moment we have days like today where stock comes in and then sales just go up. I mean. It, it's a good thing in a way because you guys out there are busy. We're only busy when you're busy. And I think overall for our industry, uh, I think it is because the shops have been closed like Card Factory. I think there are a lot of people that have done um, quite well with their businesses. And I'm, I'm really pleased to be able to support everybody out there in, in that way. So yes, I apologize if you didn't manage to get what you were after, but thank you to everybody. Um, that has continued to buy from us. But I just wanted to warn you, yes, there will be further delays now um, because of the number of orders that we've just literally had come in today. It will add a, a, a few more days onto the, um, the, the dispatch times. So um, yes, thank you so much, so much for, for bearing with us. Right, now let's talk about some products. Now, first of all, I, I have to say, I, I don't get involved with the, the buying of the products. That's my wife, Rachel, Mrs. B, and Anna, our operations manager. They're the ones that make these decisions. And I have to say, I think they're making some pretty good decisions at the moment. I had not seen any of these until I went looking down in the warehouse for stuff to talk about today. Literally, I had not seen a single one of these before. So I'm gonna start with this thing behind me. And it's also, we've got the white ones over there. This is from Party Deco, and it is basically one, two, three, four, five flowers. They're made of paper. I was going to touch them, but Matt told me not to because he's a bit worried they're going to fall off. So I'm not going to touch them. But if I pick this one up, they are, Matt described them as quite solid when he was putting them on the wall. And they are. They're, they're, I think you can manhandle these a little bit. They're, they're not, they're made of paper, but I don't know how or if it's had some treatment or it's a special kind of paper, but it seems quite quite thick. So I really like that. And these are just stuck on with little sticky dots, um, Velcro dots that, that Matt found behind the set. And uh, But I guess you could use glue dots, glue dashes, anything like that. And um, I think they're, 
they're quite unique. They're, they're different, and they're, they're called a backdrop, uh, a floral backdrop. But it's just, as you can see, the five separate, five separate flowers. Now that's from Party Deco. We've been getting a bit more from Party Deco over the last year or two. And I've said it before, their packaging is very good, their products are very good, and the variety of products is very good. So that's from Party Deco. We also have these balloons down here, these, these three. We've got the, the pink leopard, or a pink panther. Um, we've got a sausage dog. We've got a giraffe. I've only brought a few up, but these are all new. These are all in the new section in the warehouse. They've not made it to the shelves yet. Um, but they are, they're, they're really nice. But I would have inflated some, but I wanted to just show that on its own. Um, but yeah, interesting balloons. But also what they're doing, uh, or these, this, this is a little pinata. I like that. So it's got a picture on the back of how to work it. You put a single suite inside. So I'm not too sure it's meant to be bashed like piñatas are normally, but uh, it's quite a nice little way to wrap a little present or make it a little present. I quite like that. So they do those sort of things as well. But they also do do these. Now, this is just coloured paper. Um, we talked obviously to Ellen last week about the Cameo 4, and we talked about vinyl and personalising balloons, but as she said last week, you can do so much more with the Cameo 4. And you can use it to cut pieces of paper, pieces of card, all sorts of different fabrics. You can do, you know, there's a lot you can do with a Cameo 4 that we in this industry probably don't really touch on. So we've got some coloured paper in um, to allow you to, to maybe do something like that. Or you can just sell these in your shop once shops are open again. You can sell them on your website because I have to say... In itself, I think this is really nice. It's just, it could be a present. Uh, it's, you've got these are the bolder colors, just your, your primary colors, and you've got these patterns here as well. Um, but just the, the packaging of this, and you've got the, the gold here, it, it, it's just really, I, I think it's really nice. I, I know my daughter would love one of these. She's probably gonna see this now and want one, um, or both of them. And it's the same with this one, but this is all the pastel colors here. And you can see the patterns down there as well. So for anybody that is into arts and crafts, I think it'd make a great gift. Use it for your own creations. Like I, like I say, you can use it on your cameo, um, anything like that. Now we've got some customers, local customers, Maddie Moose. Hello, Maddie Moose, Karen and Haley. They've got a gift and card shop and they've always personalized their cards, but not with a, a cameo. They've used, you know, the little stickers, the little letters you can get from W.A. Smiths or any other stationers. And well, these are versions of that. So these are uppercase and lowercase letters, little hearts, little stars, and they've got commas and uh, full stops as well. So great if, I mean, a cameo, any vinyl cutter, any cutter like that does cost a few hundred pounds. So if you're not quite there yet, not quite able to, to afford one of those, then this is another alternative. And we've got those in stock again from, from Party Deco. So I think Party Deco, they're, they're very versatile. They've got a lot of different types of products. Versatile is probably completely the wrong word, but uh, they've got a wide range, put it that way. Uh, and we're constantly adding to that range. Right, let's go down to the front here and have a look at these balloons. Now, this balloon over here, this is an alligator skin balloon. It's not real alligator skin, I must point out. Alligator skin design. And it's by Anagram. Now, if there was only somebody from Amscan that we knew that might be able to do something creative with this. Well, I think there is. I think it's such a unique balloon. I think it needs to be showcased and there's only one person to be able to do that. So, so Mr. Chris Horn, I'd, I'd like to lay down the gauntlet to you and ask you to create something with this orbs because I think people would be very inspired, particularly people in Florida that, um, you know, down there in Key West or Miami, Fort Lauderdale, going across Alligator Alley, something like that. Anybody there might love this. Um, but yeah, create something. I want to see it. You don't have to do it on video. You can just create it and then send us a picture and we'll show it. Please, 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 please accept my, my challenge. That would be really good fun. But anyway, I think it's really unique. I think it's really interesting. And let's see if and what Chris Horn might come up with. Anyway, across here to these other two balloons, We've discovered that people have been typing, we, we know what people are searching for on the website, and people have been searching for koalas. I'm not too sure why. I, I, I didn't recognize it as a trend. 
but seemingly somebody did, Anagram, and they've got these koala balloons. I really like this one because it reminds me of the main character in Sing. Do you remember the film Sing? I think I talked about it a couple of years ago. It's, a, it's an animated film, but he's an entrepreneur, and I think it's just, it, if you own a business, I think it's quite inspirational. It's good for the kids as well as singing and stuff and, and comedy and whatever else in it, but a really nice film, and he just reminded me of the main character. So there's those balloons there. Now coming over, oh, got these uh, candles, these ombre candles. Ombre is still very hot at the moment. These are from Creative. And as you can see, they've gone with the bolder colors rather than a, a more muted tone. So I think they're really nice as well. But what I really wanted to talk about over here are these balloons from APAC. Now, APAC, the Kaleidoscope brand, um, there we've been buying balloons from these guys for about five years. And I have to say, I'm really impressed because I think it was last year sometime I talked about the recycled material used in these balloons. And it's on the back here. And in 2019, it says 35% of the plastic materials in, in this foil balloon are recycled. Last year, 50%. The goal for 2022 is 70% of plastic materials in the balloon are going to be recycled. And by 2025, 90%. So I think that's, they're obviously never going to be completely biodegradable like a latex balloon. But I think the fact that it's recycled material in these balloons, I think it says a lot about what the company is trying to achieve. So well done APAC. However, that's not really what I wanted to tell you about. What I wanted to show you was this packaging. This is just card. There's no plastic cover on it, just card. And the balloon is folded, folded in there. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, yeah, that's it. If, if I wanted to be really, really picky, there's just a little, little dot there, a little sticky dot, like a little bit of sellotape to seal it down. Possibly that could have had a little, you know, slot to put it in. That's the only thing I would say there. But I have to say, it's a great idea. I think all manufacturers are going to be going down this route at some point anyway. But well done, APAC, for, for getting that out there. So I've just brought a couple or a few of those designs up um, because they are new. Now this tiny little thing, this is a pull bow. And we've sold pull bows for years, the packs of 20, the big ones, the two inch florist ribbon. But this is far more sophisticated. I don't know how well you can see, it's got the iridescent look on it. You probably can't see it very well under the studio lights. But um, it's only one bow, you don't have to buy 20 of them as well. So if you did want to decorate something or use this in your, in your pieces of work, you could, um, you could just buy one if you really wanted to. But I think it just adds that little bit of sophistication. And it's so easy. You can make your own bows, obviously, with florist ribbon. But um, this, I don't know, it's just it's smaller bits of iridescent stuff and some fabric in between. I, I don't know. I just think it's really cute. And, of course, I hadn't seen it before, which is why I brought it up. Now, artificial floristry. <laughs> As you know, I don't really know very much about floristry. By very much, I mean anything. So we just, all I know is we're extending our range of artificial flowers and plants. And this is a potted grass plant of some description with these bits here. I honestly don't know what you would use it for. Florist out there, I'm sure you know exactly what you would use it for. But I suppose you could use it as part of a theme. If somebody was having a beach theme or something like that, some of these and something covering the front there, it could look like sand dunes and, and beachy grass. And this is another kind of grass we've got. I don't know what the names of these are, but if you head over to the, to the floristry section on the website, you'll be able to, to see, I guess. But that's another grass there. I like the noise, the sound of that. It's just like it's blowing in the wind. And then this is another very tropical leaf. And you might have seen a lot of people using these sort of things in, in organic work. So if you are going to combine flowers um, and floristry, plants, things like that with balloons, obviously if it is artificial, it will last for potentially much, much longer. Although I did learn a tip this week. Mrs. B, my wife, got some tulips, put them in a vase. And you know, if you put a 2P piece in, into the vase. It keeps them um, just looking better for longer. So little tip there, a little two pee piece. Apparently it only works with tulips. No idea why. Anyway, um, right, what have I missed? Oh, this, this is a big pump. This, if you've watched any of our shows with Rob Driscoll, you'll see that he uses a pump very similar to this. And it's a floor standing pump designed for people that are balloon modelers, balloon twisters. So I'm gonna put it on the floor. You won't be able to see it. But basically you put your foot on it, 
and that pulls up and the way it's designed is you're supposed to be able to put a 260 on there and then you would just push it down might have another balloon in this hand already and there's your fully inflated 260 and you can carry on doing whatever with it now Obviously, it's mainly twisters that would, would use this. But if you are using more modeling balloons in your pieces of work, and say you're going somewhere that is in a field, in a barn or something, there's no electricity around, and you can't use an electric inflator, the last thing you want to be doing is using a hand pump, if you can just do it in, in one pump like this. It also comes with a, a strap. So you attach that onto, I guess, this bit here, and that bit up there, and pop it over your shoulder. So yeah, we've got those in stock. We've only got four of them at the moment. So if you are interested in one of those, you might want to get one quick. But uh, yeah, I, I know that people have been waiting for this sort of pump in the UK. I think they, traditionally they've come from, from America. So yes, people have been waiting for these for, for quite a long time. And here they are. Right, that's it from a stock point of view. Um, what I do want to talk to you about is... Um, obviously, we've got the delays in the orders and we are, we are doing everything we can. We, we are extending the, the evening shift. We've got 12 people now, still recruiting more people. The maximum number of people we feel safe having in this building is 20 in the warehouse. And we're at that um, most days. Somebody's sick, somebody else might come in, etc. Et and that's one of the things that's limiting, limiting us being able to get the orders out at the speed with which we want to be able to get them out. The only way, and as we've said for a while, the only way we can really get beyond that is to move. Well, I'm happy to tell you that we have found a place to move to. We have been looking for around three years. Um, we've got the main unit next door. Anybody that's visited us, you would have known about Unit 4. We've had it for eight years. We got you, this unit that the studio's in uh, two years ago, um, which is next door, knocked a hole in between them. And then we've got a third unit just over there, unit seven that we got in July last year. Obviously it's not ideal. We've got stock downstairs over there, upstairs, upstairs here in that office, in another office, in another room and over in unit seven. It's just not ideal. So what we knew we needed to do was just have one big room, one big warehouse effectively. And we have found that. It is considerably larger. We are doing quite a bit of building work in there at the moment. We're building new offices. We're building a studio with a higher ceiling for when guests do finally come back, we'll be able to do some bigger work. And we're building another few, few areas as well. So we are looking to move in about the end of March, beginning of April. So for probably six to seven weeks from now. And hopefully what that will allow us to do is put more people into the warehouse, be more efficient, everything's gonna be on one level, and hopefully it will get us to a point that we're delivering the level of service that we used to deliver, that we found very frustrating that we've not been able to deliver over the, um, the last 12 months. Um, it was frustrating because before Christmas, we managed to get the backlog down. We were sending out things same day dispatch, and then lockdown was announced. And as you all know, for the past previous two lockdowns as well in our industry, as soon as that happens, you've got the card shops closing, you've got card factory, places like that where people might go to get balloons. And so it means that balloon decorators have been discovered, which I think ultimately is very good for the industry. So yes, we will be moving. Hopefully it is going to make things far better, far more efficient, and hopefully it will also allow us to extend our range. So that's one of the main goals was to be able to extend the range to offer even better service from uh, what you can buy from as point of view. So that is the plan. However, we have quite a lot of stock and we did have a moving company come and give us a quote. And he said, just to move the stock, so not the shelves, not anything else, six days it would take them. Um, don't know that we're going to go down that route now because where we're moving to is 300 yards that way, but it will still take us uh, a considerable amount of time. So it does mean, unfortunately, we are going to have to close our doors and that does mean online as well. So we won't be taking any orders over the period that we are closed. We're estimating it's going to take us two weeks. So we will be closed for two weeks. So I really do apologize. The there's no other way. If we were to continue to take orders online, I think what we would end up doing is when we come back in and start working in the new place, I think it would be, there would be a three, possibly even a four week backlog to get orders out. And we just can't really live with that. So unfortunately, 
we are going to have to close our doors. What we're going to do is going to keep you informed. I'm going to be letting you know. We'll give you a countdown um, when we're going to be stopping taking orders. It will be before we actually close that we'll stop taking orders. Um, and it's all, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting time, but we're going to do it as fast as we possibly can. If we manage to get there in a week and everything up and running and everything is smooth, then we will turn the website back on. But yes, we are towards the end of March, beginning of April. Um, I'm afraid we are going to have to close. We tried to figure out how we could do it, tried to think about could we do it over a weekend. Um, talking to this moving guy made us realize that there's absolutely no way that we would be able to do that. So I do apologize in advance for us not being around for, for a couple of weeks. Right, that is it uh, for this week. A question of the week. Um, I want to relate it to our move and I want to ask you, what is it you would like to see us selling once we have this extra space? Please leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you've not subscribed on YouTube, please do. Just hit subscribe. If you've not got a Google, Google account, please sign up for one. It takes a couple of minutes. And hit the little bell icon as well, because that means you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Right, that's it. Thank you so much. Stay safe and stay happy. And I'll see you next week. Bye. <music>